She was a 2013 Pushcart Prize winner. Please welcome Elizabeth Powell. Thank you, and thank you for all for being here. Um, it's an honor, and it's an honor to bring some uh, Jewish American writing back to Vilna, or to Vilna. First uh, poem I'll read is uh, in two sections. It's called E Diptych. One, Match.com. My love lives in a little tiny box made of pixels and engineering. When I write him, he writes me back, and when he writes me back, I write him. Even though we exist, me, him, here, there, one day our band of consciousness will grow outward when science puts chips in brains so all mysteries can be known. Delusions, proclivities, sentences. For now, imagination, a gangly vine, grabs for a life. He has been so busy writing a narrative where he has no wife that she has disappeared. So much first person construct and banter. He has a vixen school teacher held down on the bed of his mind. And when he writes me, he makes me. And when I make him, I write him. We are invented in part by the wanting and not having of others. Soon someone else will pick him out of his little box and begin again, wait for him in the rain, in front of the coffee shop where inside the donuts harden like he no longer can, and the red counter chair swirls empty as if trying to conjure something closely. But closely is almost, and almost is really far still. She tries to pick him out of the crowd, ever hopeful, though night comes on like an emergency, and he is two places at once, virtual and real. My love lives in a little box. Someone else is making him into something else now. Two, chemistry.com. I know you really wanted to meet me, but I had a sneaky feeling you were an uber Aryan chiropractor with homoerotic tendencies that maybe I should re-up with my academic Asperger's husband wear moo-moos on Saturdays, but I met you anyway before your snowboard race. The style gel in your crew cut looked like ice, your big puffy red coat. You were disappointed that my hair did not look like my picture. You implied I was a liar. We walked down Main Street in Stowe, past Kendall's buying New Jerseyans and Gnostic punk rock townies eating baguette. My nose beginning to run in the cold until we came to a cemetery. And after you talked about your ex-wife lying and pretty old girlfriend, you talked a pair about a pair of little green baby shoes that made you realize you are now too old for children, and I thought of the poetic significance of shoes, how used and alone they stood for death. Your text messages beeped us all the way to my car, which was German, but not clean, where you told me good luck, shook my ungloved hand, thought better, gave me a hug, as if you were Princess Diana and I the patient on the ward. Thank you.